silence only. What is the response? What is the response of the government? What is the reply of the government in this issue? On this issue, there is no solution with them. They are trying to divide the people. Divide the people. In the last few years, Modi played a duty called Rosgar Melas. The BJP people, the RSS people, their social media profile, clapping for Rosgar Melas. This is another jumla. This is another drama. Please come to my point. They claim that most of the Indian youth are getting employed and unemployment will be reduced in the country. But what is the reality? I raised the same question in that Jasapa. As a member of parliament, I raised the same issue regarding the Rasta Mela. I raised the question in the Raj Jasapa. When I asked, how many new jobs they have created through Rosgar Mela? That was my question. You are celebrating the Rosgar Mela. You are celebrating. My question is that how many new jobs were created through Rosgar Mela? What was the answer? The union government admitted that not a single one post was created through this Oscar Mela. What a shame fact. My dear colleague, Father, the Union government revealed that only natural vacancies under various ministries and banking sector were filled through Rosdar Melas. The reply also mentioned that the recruitment we have done by recruiting agencies like Union Public Service Commission, Staff Selection Commission and Railway Recruitment Board. What is the contribution of Narendra Modi government? So, I would like to ask, I would like to ask the government of India, Union government, Narendra Modi government, you stop the jungle. Stop the drama. Stop the gimmick. And create new job opportunity. This is our mantra. This is our slogan. My dear comrades, we should notice that this is happening when more than 8 lakhs of vacancies are remaining unfilled under the union government. More than 8 lakhs of vacancies are remaining vacant. Narendra Modi is taking the approach of this, dividing the people, so deceiving the people by giving the appointment orders which should be received by the candidate ordinarily, ordinarily through the post office under the false name of Rojar Mela, spending crores of rupees from the public treasury. Only on this propaganda, only this, only this gimmick, only for this gimmick. My dear comrade, the government should apologize. I would like to, I would like to remind on the, I would like to urge to the government of India, government should apologize to the young woman and men of the country. They themselves are to work the billion inflated by the government and a section of the media. The country does not need this kind of gimmick in this context of high unemployment, we need to create new jobs. This case, union government is coming up with a new gimmick, which is called Make in India. Since 2014, we could hear the mantra, Make in India. This initiative promised to boost manufacturing and generate jobs. But the results have fallen short of expectations. Furthermore, the implementation of policies like demonetization and GST has adverse effects 
on small and medium sized enterprises SMEs, SMEs. which are often the largest sources of employment in our country. The hasty implementation of GST and its co-structure led to 